Hello and welcome to Youth in Pro. In this video, we want to have a look at the Page Builder, which is a powerful and flexible tool to build simple and complex page layouts for your website. You can find the Builder when opening Youth in Pro and then clicking on the Builder section. When you navigate to any page on your website, you will see the Builder update with the layout on this page. The page builder is meant to build static page layouts. That is why it works on static pages. But it is not meant to replace the layout of areas such as a blog. If you navigate to such an area of your website, the builder will tell you that it's not available on this page. When you want to create layouts, it's important to understand the three basic concepts of the builder. These concepts are the section, a row and elements. Elements are the single items that you use to fill in your content on the website. These can be headlines, text, images or more complex elements such as a complete slideshow. When you hover over any element in the builder, you see a highlight in the live preview to show you where the element is located. Similarly, when hovering an element in the preview, you also see a highlight on the left showing you which element this is. The outermost structure of any layout are sections. All elements inside one section share, for example, the same background color. Let me show you this by editing the section and setting the style to be different. And I'll just change the text color to be light on this dark background so you can see it better. When I go back now, we see clearly that the two elements inside the section share the same background and the elements in the next section have a different background. As you can see in the example of this second section, elements inside a section are grouped into rows. Each row defines the layout of how the elements are displayed next to each other. With these three basic concepts of the section, the row and the elements, you can build up simple and complex page layouts. Changing the layout of a page works by simple drag and drop. We can drag and drop a section to a different position by hovering over the section name and dragging it to another position. We can change the order of rows inside a section by hovering over the white border that is displayed around this row or simply positioning the cursor just below the row. We can then drag and drop this row to a different position. Elements inside a row can also be dragged and dropped to a different column inside this row or to a completely new position in the whole layout. Let me place it back where it came from. And also I want to move the section that I moved down up to the first position again. To build up your layout, you can add new sections by clicking the plus icon on the left. You can also add multiple rows by clicking the plus icon on the right. And you can fill in your content by adding new elements. Just click in an empty section, choose the element you want to add, and see it appear in the live preview. When you hover an existing row, you can also click the small plus icon to add additional elements to this row. By default, every element displays dummy content. This makes it easy to quickly build up complete page layouts without having to fill in the content right away. To change the content of an element, just click the element to go to its editing screen. An element always has a content and a settings tab. These are specific to the element type that you've chosen. And we won't look into details of every single element in this video, because we want to focus on the builder in general. You have a bunch of tools available when working in the builder. When you hover over a section name, you see that you can edit the section, duplicate the section, you can save it to the layout library that we will look at in a bit, and you can also delete the section. If you hover a row, you see that you also have an editing option for a row. You can duplicate an existing row, 
or you can also delete the entire row. When you've put some work into creating a layout element or a complete page layout, you might want to reuse that component in a different part of your page. For that, you can save it in the layout library of Utheme Pro. We can give it a name and hit the Save button. Let's navigate to an empty page that I've created. You see that the builder is active on this page because it's a static content page, but we don't have any layout items yet. If we either click Select Layout or click the Library button, we are presented with a layout library. Here we have complete layouts available that we have stored before or that came with this website, or we have smaller prepared sections, for example the one that I've saved before. We could also decide to start with an empty layout. In this case I want to add the section that I've prepared before. We see that it appears here in the live preview and also on the builder panel. Let's now have a quick look at what editing options we have available for both the section and the row. If we click the edit button next to the section name, we are presented with a number of editing options. Most prominently, we can change the style of the section. For example, we could choose to display a background image. We then see an image picker, which we can use to choose an image from our uploaded files. This isn't very legible, so I go into the edit settings of this image and I choose a very dark overlay color with an alpha value so it doesn't cover this image completely and we can now read the text. When you click the edit button on the right of a row, you see the row settings. The row defines how the several elements inside this row are displayed. By default, each element takes up the whole space of the row which means that several elements are stacked on top of each other. Let's choose the halves option, which defines that every element in a column should take up half of the space. If we go back, we see that the row is now displayed in two separate columns. We can now move the text to the second column and we see that headline and text are now displayed next to each other. If we go back into the editing options, we see that there's a number of other settings available for example, we could decide to vertically center the elements in a row. For both section and rows, there's a number of powerful settings available that we will look at at a different time. Let me save this page and navigate out to the overview of the website builder again. This concludes our look at the website builder. You are always working with the basic concepts of several sections that define the shared background of all elements inside. You are working with rows, which define the grid that the elements inside a row are displayed in. And all of your content consists of a number of elements that you can freely align inside rows and sections. You can also make use of the layout library to store layout components that you've built and use them in other places. The page builder is a powerful and flexible tool. I hope you now have an overview of how to work with it and recommend that you just start playing around with it. Thanks for watching.